Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. Sometimes it's confusing to dealing with the twisting in and out shape. I would like to show you an easy way to figure them out today in this video. Are you ready? Let's get started. To model this form, I would like to uh, show you how I study first. First of all, it looks like it is a symmetrical heart shape. And then everything on the bottom seems it's a straight line. The only things on the top, it looks like I have to moving some point to the back on this heart and uh, some point to the front. It's kind of blended it and then we can sweep from there. You also notice that this heart is not symmetrical in the thicknesses wise it's because I use the sub D tool and to modify to make it not as uh, uniform look on both sides. All right, so that's starting from the scratch. All right, that's starting at the front view. You can draw any shape that you like um, too close to the hard design that you want and it's kind of using the control point to edit to make them smoother. You can also use the command smooth and you click on this shape and it kind of you have this bar you can get in and out to make them smoother. That will work too. And then after that if you find you are satisfied with the shape um, you can do is to mirror to the other side. I always like to have my model at the construction zero construction plane because I can just type it zero whether it's mirror or rotate or polar array. It's much much easier to find where's the center. And then I want to trim in this guy here and I also want to trim in this guy here. On the bottom I actually want it to be rounded so I will use the fillet command and fit is something like this. All right, the top, I'm not worried that much yet because we need, we do need to separate them. All right, so once I have this, I'm gonna come in to the top and then I would like to click on the control point and starting tweak it there. So with this one, I pick up the top three with my gumball and I wanna moving in, uh, moving to the back like this. Um, if that we, we since we need to do the symmetrical, we don't know how we actually move it. I actually like to uh, try by using the arrow and type it. So maybe I want to type it five and it will get something like this. So I know at the same time here, I can type it minus five here. We can also do is just edit one. Um, one side and then to mirror to the other side or rotate it to the other side that will work too. Okay so let's do this. I'm going to keep tweaking until it looks smoother. Um, it's not too much of the kink there so maybe I need to have those two coming back a little bit more like this. All right the bigger gap you have um, the bigger loop that you can get. All right so I simply just want to delete this one. And the second thing is I need to have the loop starting, maybe have this one come back a little bit. So it's not feel it's it's not like um, too tight of the loop and maybe you want to give it a little bit direction for it to go something like this. All right, so it looks like the loop it's coming in so it will flow it will flow nicely to the other side. All right, let's give it a try. We are going to use the rotate tool and copy equal yes here on the top, type it zero and we want to rotate 180 degree and then we'll get something like this. All right, so once we get something like this, we need to creating the curve in the middle. So we're gonna use the blend curve and gonna blend from here to here and click OK. So then I have this loop. Now, uh, if you wanted the loop to be deeper, you can go ahead to dragging those two lines. And then uh, maybe I want to turn on all the point, turn on all of this and selecting all this point here. And coming in my top view, I wanted to rotate it a little bit more. So let me do it again. We want to pick up all the point right there and we want to rotate it a little bit more. 
something like this. Okay, I know that there's a kink is quite ugly. We're gonna fix that later. But we wanna take a look and on, on, on see if this is the shape that we want. If you want them to tweak even more, let me join them and I can select the things on the top or maybe including one more point here and here and it's kind of rotated a little bit more like this. Okay, so that looked good. Um, then we wanna pick up these things and we wanna rebuild. Ideally, we usually rebuild more than what the original point is. So I'm gonna do 24 right there. And it's just a little bit deviation, but it also remove the kink there. We want a degree to three. And right here on the bottom, you have a make sub D friendly. We want this curve to be sub D friendly. And then we click okay here. All right, so now this is what we have. Uh, let's just pipe it and see how does it look in the solid. Simply whatever thickness, uh, maybe one and a half or roughly there. And we wanna see if that is what we want. All right, so I may get it a little bit cross way too much. So at the front view, it doesn't look like the heart. So I might need to go back in a few steps, maybe not as much like that. Okay, and then I can uh, again join all of them. And also I want to rebuild this guy to be 24 like this. All right, so at the front it was still really like a heart. All right, and again, you can keep dragging. Maybe you want this point even go lower or higher. That's up to you. Uh, maybe you want to have the chin able to go through here from this left to the right, it's up to you. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm going to stop it here. And um, you can also, again, use the smooth command and make it smoother just a little bit. All right, so kind of using this command um, and play with it and see which one work for you. So now I have this heart and you can actually make it into the loop, but at the front view, front view, it doesn't look like a heart. So I'm going to stop it here. The second thing is we need to find a cross section. So I'm going to use the conic corner and I'm just going to creating something like this coming in. And I want this one align vertical center just type it zero here. And I may want to have this one moving a little bit like this. So we're going to use the sub D sweep one rail and you get this rail, you get, uh, get this cross section and um, you'll get something like that. Notice that this, there's a twist right there. And um, I find it the easy way is just to half of them and mirror to the other side. So I'm going to making a copy Maybe this one a little bit bigger. And I would like to make a copy for this one going up like that. And I also wanted to rotate it something like this. All right. And maybe I'm going to move it back a little bit, but let's do a sweep, uh, sub day sweep one and see how it come out. So we got this one, this one, and this one. And um, then we do not want to close it. So we got something like this. Okay, let's click OK. I'm going to, since this is already past the um, the line, so I'm going to select this edges there and, and simply just move it back a little bit back to this line. And same as this uh, center line, just move it back a little bit there. All right, so now I have this uh, sub D object and I can, I can do a lot of different things. First, you can using the surface and then you can pick up any of the surface you like and maybe you would like this to be fatter, skinnier, um, or you can use the edge tool and to pick up a certain edge and it's kind of moving if you want to, or you can kind of scale it 1D if you want to. And then you can keep tweaking until you find a shape that you like. So for example, I like this to be fatter and something like, you know, change it, make it more dynamic or something. And if this is too much, you can always move it back. All right, so I'm gonna stop tweaking there because it might take some time uh, to complete. Um, Next things I would like to do is making 
to the other side. And instead of uh, using a mirror, because we might need to mirror twice, so I simply just wanted to rotate it starting from the zero and then uh, making into the other side like this. All right, so then I have this area that I need to breach. Um, or in the usual Rhino sense, it's similar with the blend. So I'm going to use the commands uh, bridge, mesh, or sub D, and then we're gonna bridge from this one to this one, all right? And you can decide how many segments you want. The more segment you have, uh, maybe the more pointing you can get it to. I just wanted to have one, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bridge this guy and this guy right there all right so that will be connected so now they become one piece and again you can keep tweaking until that you like since there's no history recorded maybe you wanted to select it here make this part thinner so both sides is not going to look the same all right and if you want to twist more for example right here and we select the surface of maybe here and I realize you know I should have a twist even more I can keep tweaking and even like this for example so you can having a change actually go through uh, this hole right here in the middle okay after that for the rendering purpose we just need to add the chain and that will look really nice I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and comment. Let me know how you like this type of a video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.